to baseball now. The Guardians only have seven regular season games left, including two right here in Cleveland. And while there has not been an official announcement yet, all signs are indicating this is Terry Francona's last season with the team. Yeah, our Betsy Kling is inside Progressive Field with more on what the team has planned for this weekend, Betsy. Last weekend homestand of the season. The 23 campaign is almost over, and yeah, there will be a lot of changes potentially coming in the future, but now is a great time to come down to the ballpark. We have phenomenal weather setting up. You may even need a jacket tonight because we have this beautiful breeze that's coming in off of the lake. Temperatures are in the 70s. We're expected to stay in the 70s because we're in the city, and it just looks like it's going to be an awesome night all around. Curtis Danberg with the uh, Guardians joining me now. Obviously a big week. And first of all, Huge. thanks for letting us come over. Absolutely. Thanks for being here and bringing this glorious weather. Crash the party uh, to start the weekend, most certainly. It. Lots going on this weekend. Tell us about some of the events folks can get in on. Starts tonight. It's Kid Cuddy night. I know. I've been waiting to see him. I know he's here. We're giving away the bobblehead. Uh, Kid Cuddy. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do Kid Cuddy themed fireworks tonight after the Ooh. game. And then, of course, tomorrow's fan appreciation night. Got the $2 beers, dollar dogs, fireworks again. Kind of thank you fans, fireworks. Uh, after tomorrow night's game. And then the uh, homestand continues, and we finish with the Reds on Wednesday. Now, Fan Appreciation Day is always one of my favorites because it's kind of like you guys clean out the closets, we, so to it's speak. It's a good way to put it. Right? So people get giveaways the whole time. What kind of stuff do people have opportunities to win? Yeah, a lot of uh, autograph merchandise is kind of the biggest thing, and we'll have some other surprises uh, for the fans as the night goes on. Yeah. All right. So in the backdrop back there, Randy, I don't know if you can see it back there, but there's chairs and there's bleachers or stands out there in the outfield. They are getting ready to take the team picture. The annual, the annual team Photo. The annual team photo. Obviously, this is going to be pretty impactful for this team because this could be our last team photo with Tito as the manager of the squad. How is everybody in the dugout doing with all that? The clubhouse surviving okay? Yeah, it's one of those things that we're waiting to see with the formality, but certainly the tea leaves are showing that there's a strong possibility that this is the end. So a lot of the things like this, team photos, his last home game potentially on Wednesday. We're going to have honor him on Wednesday. We wanted to make sure he didn't get off Great. without us honoring him. So we're going to thank you, Tito T-shirts uh, for 20,000 fans. We're going to have a, a pregame video and, and honor him. And we have $11 for his 11 years. We have $11 tickets in the upper deck for, for the whole homestand. For the whole well, beginning 11 tonight. beginning tonight. $11 tickets, friends. $11. And those are the good seats because you can see the whole field. Absolutely. I and the it. fireworks. That's true. That's true. The fireworks, too. All right, Curtis, thank you so thank much you. for hanging Go out guards. with us. We'll be back at 530. We'll have some more info and some more insights on the forecast, which looks like this. Oh, amazing. Guys. So much happening at Progressive Field. That's exciting stuff, Betsy. Yeah. Thank you so much.